Hey, Matt here with Mr. Energy. And today we're gonna be painting and installing our handrails. This is the part four of our four part series. So finishing it out here. Um, again, we're just cleaning all the steel really good with lacquer thinner. This helps the primer to bond to the metal. You can see also I've got a fan with the door cracked. It didn't help as much as I thought. It's still pretty fumey. So once I start painting, I'm gonna break out with my face mask. Couple of tips on painting. So anytime I'm painting square tubing, I like to paint on the corner at a 45 degree angle. This allows me to get two surfaces of the metal at the same time, but also getting that edge really good as well. Keep that can shaking really well and be in a warm space while you're painting, but also allow space or time for the paint to dry in between coats. Here we are, finally ready for installation. I'm three inches off the side of the concrete and then six inches off the step and I'm measuring to the post so this gives me plenty of space to not break out the concrete with my sleeve anchors and drilling on it. The sleeve anchors I'm using here are 3 8 by inch and 7 8 so I like to drill it probably about two and a half inches you can put a mark on your drill bit if you like. This is older concrete, so it's a little tougher to drill into, but just takes time and a little bit of pressure. Once all the holes are drilled and sleeve anchors are in place, that's when I like to go around and tighten everything up and check the level. If you do one at a time and then tighten it and then start drilling on it when there's tight sleeve anchors, you're more likely to break the concrete. So here it is, we're all finished. Thank you so much for watching. Keep working hard, be creative, and always do your best. We'll see you on the next video.